Each one of us at some point in our life do feel that we are useless, that we have nothing good in us. We do not have any gifts or talents or skills. And you start looking at others and feel that they are so blessed. They are so gifted. They are so talented. Their life is better than us. You know, when you believe this lie of the enemy saying that you are useless, that you are not gifted, you are actually allowing the enemy to have an upper hand in your life and when you believe the lie of the enemy you will never be happy and the only way to defeat the lie of the enemy is to believe the truth from the Lord and today I want to share one of the scriptures from the Bible which will encourage you if you're struggling in this area you know if you read in Proverbs chapter 18 verses 16 it says a man's gift makes room for him and brings him before great men. Wow, it says that if you are gifted, if you are talented, it will make a way for you and bring you before men of great influence. You know, the first and foremost thing I want to tell you, you are gifted. You know, each one of us are gifted. Maybe you do not believe this, but I want you to look into your life little deeper and search a li little harder you will find out that you indeed are gifted you know and if you still don't believe it ask the holy spirit to reveal it to you he will show it to you because all of us are gifted by the lord and each one of us are placed in this planet earth is for a purpose our gifts are given by god not to use it for just for ourselves, but to use it for his glory, to serve others. When we use our gift for ourselves and to serve others, to bring to glory to his name, it will make room for you. You know, the key thing about the gift that God has given us is to use it. That is where the enemy is playing the tricks in our life. You know, many a times we don't want to use the gift for God's glory. We said, no, my gift is useless. My gift is very insignificant. I don't want to use. For example, if you are a good cook, how will people know you are a good cook if you do not cook? If you are a good singer, how will people know that you are a good singer if you do not sing? You have to use your gift, whatever it may be, use it faithfully to serve the Lord. Because as you use it, it will open doors for you. Look into the life of Joseph. Joseph was gifted. He was gifted with the gift of interpreting dreams. If you look into the life of Joseph, he was in the prison. You feel his life was useless. But you know what? He used his gift to interpret a dream for Pharaoh. And as a result, it made a way for him to be a second in charge of the nation of Egypt. It brought him before men of great influence, Pharaoh himself. And the same thing is true in our lives too. When we, we will use the gift to glorify God, it will open doors in our life. It will make room for us. You know, I want to encourage all the viewers. Maybe right now you're believing the lie of the enemy saying that you are not gifted. I want to encourage you. You are gifted. You are talented. And maybe you are feeling, you know, I don't want to use this gift. Use the gift. Serve the Lord faithfully. Do it unto the Lord. And as you use your gift to serve God, God will open doors for you beyond your imagination. He will bring you before men of great influence and he will open the door for you. Amen. Be blessed.